For more content like tonight's episode, make sure you check out the Al Nicoletti Facebook business page, the Al Nicoletti Facebook personal page, the YouTube channel under Al Nicoletti, where there's tons of videos on all the stuff with law, the probates, the partitions, and all the amazing past guests that have been on the Al Nicoletti show. You can also find it on iTunes and Spotify. Hit the subscribe button. You can hear it in the car, hear it on the go. There's tons of content, tons of videos and audio files out there for you all to listen to. And check out the Instagram at Attorney Nicoletti where all the micro content is posting daily with all the other videos that are posting all the time. So stay tuned for the show. This is going to be a really, really good one. You want to stick around for the whole thing. There's going to be a lot of questions. So stay tuned. Hey, everybody. My name is Al Nicoletti. I'm an attorney here in Florida. And welcome to the Al Nicoletti Show, where I bring on real estate super investors, rising rock stars, movers and shakers, leaders of clubs in the community that educate, entertain, and inspire all things on Florida real estate on how you can take your company to the next level. I got a great guest tonight. We're going to go deep, deep, deep on Facebook groups and how to be a part of this Facebook community and get deals, deals from Facebook on autopilot. I think a lot of people love that title because everybody wants deals. And how do you get these deals? Well, I have somebody special on the show that can help with getting leads organically from Facebook. And it's going to be... we're. Ask your questions. I'd like for people to ask their questions. Let's get interactive. Drop your comments as we go. I love seeing the comments. Let's see who's here tonight. Let's let's get everybody in so they can ask questions with Kyle while we're live. Get you all interactive. It's going to be amazing. So on my show, I have Kyle Rogers, who is the CEO of BotFox. Kyle has grown a community of 7,000 real estate investors and he uses Facebook groups and his students get deals on a weekly basis with no ad spend, all organically done, organic growth on social media. A lot of people love to know how do you do that organically? It's hard. I'm sure there's a lot of different things that Kyle does, but the best part is that he set it up in a way that puts the whole thing on autopilot right? Wouldn't you like to put your business on autopilot so you don't have to touch it and you constantly get deals all the time? That's what Kyle has. That's his system and the strategies that he brings. But the main purpose of what Kyle does is he loves to provide the value bombs. And at the heart of everything, his philosophy is to provide as much impact for you in the game as possible. So on the show... Kyle and I are going to talk about how do you find direct seller leads using Facebook groups, talk about buyers and VAs and all that stuff. How do you structure a commission-based acquisition team and what the pay breakdown is, right? So this is stuff I don't even know about, and we're all going to learn about it. And if you're already in this business, you can find some other tips and tricks that Kyle will talk about. And then where do you find acquisitions people and how do you train them? I don't even know about this either, but Kyle has the experience and does a lot of this stuff virtually. And what are the pitfalls of lone wolfing it and the benefits of leveraging other people's work and how to get deals from Facebook on autopilot, making it happen? And I have a bunch of other questions that you can't even see here that I want to ask Kyle about because he's done many shows before and he drops a lot of great value. And I want to make sure I can help provide that value to you all that are watching so we can Pull it from Kyle, get it all there. So without further ado, welcome to the show, Kyle Rogers, CEO of BotFox. Kyle, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, Al. Thanks so much for having me on, man. I'm excited. I'm pumped up. So I see you in the car. Where, where are you right now? Yeah, I'm in uh, my Jeep Rubicon. I call this my mobile office. <laughs> I live uh, I live in a Class A motorhome with my wife and my two daughters, and we travel all across the United States while towing the Jeep. And this is my quiet place, man. They can kind of hang out in the motorhome and do their own thing. And this is my office uh, on, the, on the days when they're inside. So uh, right now we're in Crystal River, Florida. Uh, before that, we were in St. Pete, just having a blast, hanging out on the white sand beaches and, and living it up, man. I remember when I was on your show, I think you were going through like Utah or North Dakota. So you're you're always on the go. And that's something we'll talk about how you're doing all this virtually. And I, I love that you're in the car because you're you're actually showing people that you're doing these deals virtually, even in the car. So this is great advertising for you. And before we introduce you, I have to say there uh, when I was posting the show and spreading it all around the groups that you were going to be on, I actually had some people right away 
that were super excited you were going to be on this show. Uh, one of them was Victor Juracek. He's the flipper in Gainesville. Victor was like, he couldn't believe you were going to be on. He said in a, in a Facebook message to me, he said he's actually gotten four deals from using your strategies and methods. And uh, he, he loves it. So I, Victor, I did the special shout out right there. So we, you know, we have to make that, that known that your strategies are working for people and investors in the community. So amazing stuff, Kyle. Kyle, tell everybody who you are. How did you get your start? Where were you before all of this? Let's roll. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, I've been in real estate investing, primarily wholesaling for the last four years and just kind of dove in head first. But I've been in direct sales and, and marketing uh, to primarily commission based direct sales for over a decade now. And a lot of that was with direct TV. I was selling satellite TV for them for the longest time rose through the ranks and became number seven top salesperson in the nation for them by going to events, fairs, trade shows, even knocking on doors. And, you know, all of my career has been commission based. I wouldn't have it any other way. And I got to the point to, with them that I built a reputation. They, they hired me on to start building teams and recruiting out of colleges and, uh, you know, get, getting these commission based teams or, together to go travel around to different trade shows and go do, do door to door. But it just, it, it was unfulfilling for me because selling satellite TV is not the most exciting thing in the world. Although I had to learn how to sell the vision and get people aligned and pumped up to do that job, even though it wasn't a very sexy job. And the, the thing is, is I was, be, I was being capped out at $150 commissions. You know, I'd make $100 to $150 every time I made a sale. So even though I was selling at, at uh, pretty high volume compared to the rest of the company, I was capping out at thirty, maybe $35,000 a year. That's it. And I, would, I was able to make a lot of my money just within a, a six or seven month period because it's very seasonal. So I was able to throw down, make some money in that short amount of time and take the rest of the rest of the year off, which I was kind of cool. That was a perk of it. But I wanted to make more. I didn't f feel fulfilled. And I was like, what is something that I can sell that is going to give me a lot bigger payouts? In fact, what's something that I can sell and in the sales industry gives the biggest payouts out of anything else? And a light went off. I'm like, real estate. Real estate's where it's at. That's where people are making a lot of money. And for me, I wasn't super attracted to the agent side of it. I was immediately drawn to the real, event, uh, real estate investor side. So I started to uh, get what I call my YouTube education, you know, the free YouTube education, diving into these YouTube videos, figuring out the basics. And when I found out that I can uh, flip houses without actually flipping the house, I didn't have to use my own money. I didn't have to risk my credit. I'm like, this is incredible. You know, I can make 10, a $10,000 assignment or a $50,000 assignment. This doesn't even seem real. In fact, it's almost too good to be true. And there was one point I was wondering if it was even legal. <laughs> and so I dove in and I found out it, it is. It actually is legal. And when I, when I went for it, I went all in. I burned the boats. I quit my job at DirecTV and I went 100% into wholesaling and was doing that full time. But guess what? I didn't have instant success like some people do. I was beating my head against the wall for my first several months, just not getting anywhere, stuck on this hamster wheel to where I, I would do everything that I was taught. And I was just unable to make money. I was unable to get deals. And I'm like, you know, I was told by one of my family members, if it's so good, why isn't everybody doing it? And I got into it and I'm like, Everybody is doing this. <laughs> There's so many people doing this. There's so much competition and saturation. How could I ever survive? So that's that was four years ago when I went through this experience. I made a shift and I decided to find a mentor. And that's when things changed for me. So 
it's it's great that you're doing this now because you probably out of anybody you were probably doing all these virtual deals before covid hit and now in the middle of the pandemic you're still doing deals virtually and you're like I've already been doing this for a while. Like I know how to do this. I'm doing it on the road. I'm doing it in the mobile home, the car, the car, uh, and and you're just doing it er anywhere and everywhere. And it, you don't have to be in that local spot. So for you, this is this is fantastic. And for you to talk about your story and how people can do it really helps virtual virtual real estate, right? And I was thinking like what you were just saying, how you were capped at one hundred and fifty dollars per sale. Uh, with real estate, what do we know? No limits. There's no yep. le no limits. You know, the you can keep going and going. You can make it as big as you want to make it. So, Kyle, how did you discover this group marketing method? And tell us what are some incredible examples that you have seen others have that have done and you have done that make it amazing. Yeah, definitely. And I'm going to get into um, the, the virtual side of it because I did get into that before COVID hit. In fact, when my business blew up and I started to build my reputation, people started to figure out who I was. I was living abroad. Uh, my wife and I and, and our four-year-old daughter were living out of backpacks and Airbnbs in Europe for six months straight, traveling all over, visiting these gorgeous places while I was doing deals virtually in the U.S., and this is this is before COVID hit, and in fact, this was in uh, 2018 that I was doing this. So, so for me, it was a pretty it was a pretty easy pivot. It's a pretty easy transition into you you know uh, that there's certain markets that are locked down. Um, people are shutting their doors. All I have to do now is is pivot when COVID hit. But uh, before all that, let's rewind. And before all of that. Um, when I first got into this, I was struggling. And when I decided to get a mentor, I couldn't afford a mentor program. I couldn't afford to get into some sort of uh, mastermind or inner circle. So what I did is I decided to go work for one of the experts, somebody that was putting courses out. And he was doing flips in Provo, Utah. But he was also doing virtual flips over in North Idaho, which is where I'm from. Uh, over in Spokane, Washington, and in Portland. And at the time, that's where I was living, was in Portland. And, and I, I was just calling up people from Google. I, I did a Google search, sell my house fast, uh, and, and then just saw the results that popped up. And I'm like, I'm going to go work for somebody. And I was just cold calling investors to offer my services as a commission-based acquisition manager. Finally, I got a hold of this guy and he was down. He's like, yeah, let's let's do it. I'm pumped. I'm excited to, to do this for you. So not only did he take me on, he gave me a draw on future commission. So I was making $600 a week uh, to keep me afloat. He started to pay for my courses and my education, which, uh, which, which really slingshotted me forward versus trying to get a free education is so much better when you're able to get into the paid stuff because the people, they, they keep the good stuff for the paid members, right? So I was finally able to tap into that. And he was paying for the advertising. He was fronting the money for the advertising. Now, all of this stuff was going to come out of the profitability of the market. And my commission was based off of how much the market made. So any marketing expenses or educational expenses, those ultimately affected my commission. But I was okay with it because I didn't have money to get my foot in the door. And this guy was my golden goose. This was the key. And he went all in in, in a direct mail campaign. That's something that he had a lot of success with. And uh, so he decided just to dump money into Portland. And he was spending $10,000 a month in that market. $10,000 a month on, on mail pieces. Could you imagine? No. <laughs> and, and we went four months four months, $40,000 later and zero big goose egg, not a single deal as a result of that. Wow. Now I know some people have success with direct mail. It wasn't me and it wasn't in that market in Portland. People get stacks and stacks of mail. They, they literally have them overflowing out of their mailbox. And I was getting people scribbling on envelopes, F you and profanities and sending them back to me, cussing me out on the phone. It was like, man, I have thick skin. I used to do door to door, but this is tough. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I had to go through that resistance and go through that downturn. 
And I got to the point to where I was starting to burn out. I was feeling extremely discouraged. And in fact, I, I, I think back on it now and I just remember sitting there with my, my head in my hands, ready to give up, ready to walk away forever. I'm like, screw this, door to door is easier than this. And I was feeling pretty down there for a minute. But then a light bulb went off. I'm like, you know what? At least I'm not in debt to this guy. At least I was able to put a little bit of money in my pocket. I was probably making less than minimum wage, but I wasn't negative, right? Because we were able to find a couple deals and we found those deals through Facebook groups. In fact, there's one we found from Craigslist and, and uh, the rest was from Facebook groups. And that's when a light bulb went off. You know, I was just racking my brain. I'm like, I'm like, what, what is this? How, what's working? What's not? What do I need to do moving forward? And I'm like, I need to put 100% focus into this new school marketing. Let's turn my back from old school marketing, go into this new school marketing and just go heavy. And that's when everything changed for me. The floodgates opened. It was like a faucet that I can turn on and turn off whenever I need it. If I need a lead flow, I turn the sucker on. It's like a flood. I get overwhelmed and then I have to catch up on my leads and I can turn it off for a while. And that made the biggest difference in the world for me. And that's when I shifted to, and I'm like, I don't have to be in just Portland. I don't have to be in one market in a market that I wasn't enjoying at the time. I can do this virtually because Facebook groups are in every city in the U S and I am not only able to find the seller in Facebook groups, I can also find the end buyer using Facebook groups. And that's when things started to get interesting. Yeah, that was something that I had in the notes, and I'm just diving a little deeper in the notes where, I, where where it is. But basically, using public and private Facebook groups in various markets, you've talked about this, so I've done my research. Talk uh, Using pr public and private Facebook groups in various markets, um, and where do you go to market in community-based groups? When do you market in investor groups? To find virtual assistance, you should market in different kinds of groups like there's so much to this. There's it's not just going in one group and trying to get the business in just one group. Like you have to strategically uh, market in certain groups for what you want. You want buyers, you go here. You want sellers, you go here. You want VA. So like, I guess that was the question of what's the best marketing? Like, how do you market to these groups? How do you market to the public, to the private groups, and also knowing what that audience in there is like. Um, I, I mean, I've gone on, I've seen groups before that have like 10,000 members, but if you go into it, you can see it's just all spammed out and there's not a whole lot going on. That's a, probably a whole other thing you could tell me about, but how do you do it? Yeah. So that's the interesting piece of this is, is you can do so many different things with Facebook groups are, they're, they're so dynamic, you know, there's so many ways that you can build your company and build your network using this group method groups are on fire facebook's not slowing down on it anytime soon in fact they were running super bowl ads i don't know if you remember but they were running super bowl ads for facebook groups promoting this new platform of theirs so really? it's blowing up it's going to continue to blow up and you can use it in so many ways and in order to know what groups to target you really have to you have to stop and think about what's my avatar what is the type of person that I'm looking for? And what kind of groups is that person hanging out in? So when you're looking for sellers, you want to hit local groups. You want to hit groups that are in the market that you're targeting. And uh, really, there are groups such as uh, Marketplace Group, for example. That's one of many. There's lots of different groups that you can hit that are locally but bulletin board groups, marketplace groups, stuff like that. So those are the groups that you want to target because people that are tight for cash are trying to sell their things, right? Kind of like, uh, you, you know, if, if you're hitting up yard sales to try to, you're driving for dollars and you see somebody doing a moving sale, you stop and you want to talk to that person. This is the same thing, but in the digital space. Right. And it's not just the groups that you target. The messaging is very important. You got to think of them like digital bandit signs. You got to keep it simple. What you say in Messenger, once you once you bring them over and you slide into their DMs, that's very important. The types of questions that you ask them are very important. And this all works together to get the end result. Now, the types of groups that we would hit that we hit would surprise you. We actually avoid 
real estate groups. We completely avoid real estate groups. That Why is not that? the place to find deals. If you if you post in real estate groups, you're going to get spammed by agents like crazy. So you don't want to just join the group and blindly post. You want to cherry pick and you want to go through the news feed. Is this a spam group or is this a valuable group? Is this a good group? And uh, when I started to hit up real estate investor groups to find buyers, I'm like, man, this is perfect because I can find buyers in real estate investing groups and cash buyer groups and wholesale groups. And then I was able to build my cash buyers list quickly using groups as well. For VAs and virtual assistants, you hit up virtual assistant groups and freelancer groups. Those are the best VAs I've ever found in my career. And I've been working with VAs since before I got into real estate. When I was working with DirecTV, I was working with VAs and struggling back then to find good ones. And I would use uh, Odesk and, and Upwork and Freelancer.com. But I found that Facebook groups is a much better place to find them. And you can get somebody that works for you and only you. So they're almost a- acting as an employee. You can grow your team of uh, acquisition managers and appointment setters. Now, um, appointment setters are very cool because they can use their own Facebook account to go and post in Facebook groups on your behalf and to talk to the sellers and messenger and they're kind of filtering them out. That way, on the other end of it, you're talking to people that are qualified. And these are like virtual bird dogs that are going into groups for you so that this thing's hands off and on autopilot. Now, um, doing the lone wolf thing for a long time was was exhausting because I had to do this all. I was doing every aspect of it. I was growing my cash buyers list. I was looking for the sellers. I was looking for the buyers. I was posting in the groups. I was talking to the sellers on the phone and I was burning myself out. But uh, then I started to grow my team and leverage OPW or other people's work. And that's when things got so much easier. Kyle, this is all valuable information, and I I love hearing about it because I love Facebook groups. I know there's tons of real estate investor groups in Florida. Um, Of course, we have Yellowbird, the Cash Geeks Network, the Cash Geeks Group. We have the Jacks Rhea Group. There's lots of investor groups, and when you're saying like you know targeting not in investor groups, I'm like I see people post in those groups all the time that are trying to figure out how to get deals and they're going back and forth selling, buying. So I, I could see the value of this whole group strategy and everybody out there watching Kyle right now, if you have questions for him, we are live. Ask your questions away. I want this to be interactive. The Al Nicoletti show is interactive. We have him right now. He's in the car. He's doing virtual wholesaling. George, I see you out there. Dom, Dom, from the geeks and the geeks love doing investing. They have their own Facebook group, right? So when the geeks do their Facebook group, they know what they're doing. They're they're trying to bring organic traffic and bring a community together. So Dom, I see you out there. Kobe, Sharonda, Frank, we have a bunch of people that do virtual wholesaling, especially Sharonda. She's out in that Texas area. I think Sharonda. Tell me if I'm wrong, but uh, you have people that'll do things in different states. So make sure you ask Kyle these questions. Uh, Kyle, I liked what you said about virtual bird dogs. Like, how do you find these types of people that, how do you know they're good? Like, where do you find them that you can hire to do this bird dogging, right? So it's one thing, it's one thing for me that I know that you could do the bird dogging. Where do you find it? How do you do it? How do you implement it? How do you make sure they're good? How do you, how do you know that they're going to ask those questions so that it's a great qualified lead? How do you know? Yeah. So it's funny when I, when I first started to build a team around this, I kind of went away from my roots. Like I said, I've been in direct sales and commission-based sales for a decade and I went away from my roots and I went away from what I knew. And I was trying to make VAs into bird dogs. I was trying to make VAs into appointment setters because that's, uh, you know, it doesn't, they don't cost a lot of money. You can tap into the conversion rate of the dollar. The dollar stretches very far so you can get labor for pretty inexpensive from these different countries. And I knew that people used VAs to do cold calling. So, so I was trying to do that at first and that was tough. I wasn't having a lot of success. And in the beginning I was doing all of the group marketing myself and, you know, we were, we were having success. We were doing deals and finally making money. And I went off on my own and and I stopped working with Stuart and I told my wife, I'm like, you know what? The uh, now we're doing this on our own, and we're we're doing deals virtually. 
we, we can do this from anywhere. Let's collapse time. Let's take our 10 year plan of traveling the world. Let's make it happen now. And she's like, really, you want to do that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. And, um, and, and when I did that, we booked out these Airbnbs over in Europe and we left the, the country with $700 in our pocket. We were paid for Airbnbs up to three months, but we only had $700 in our pocket when we made this jump. So I burned the boats again and went over to Europe. And the reason I had to, I really got a fire under my ass to, to recruit and build the team is because I wanted to enjoy Europe. I'm like, I'm still working so hard. You know, I'm putting in all this work and I'm having to do the groups myself. I'm trying to get these VAs to, to post in the groups and they're not doing very good. And I'm working these 60 hours, sometimes 80 hours a week. And I'm missing Europe. You know, we flew into Rome and we spent time in Rome, went up to uh, Florence and Turin. And then we're in Venice. And then we're in, uh, then we're in Croatia. Then we went up to Prague in the Czech Republic and we're in France, St. Tropez, uh, you know, all these beautiful areas, but I was working really hard and I'm like, I need to get this thing to click. I need other people doing this for me. I can't be posting in groups all the time. This needs to be more hands off. What do I do? How do I do that? And when the VAs didn't work out, I started to go back to my roots I'm like, well, I would never hire VAs to sell for me, to sell DirecTV. When I had VAs working for me with DirecTV, they were doing administrative roles. They weren't doing sales, right? People that I hired for sales had a sales background. They were entrepreneurs. They were hustlers. They were used to working commission-based jobs. They, these are the types of people who do multi-level marketing on the side and kill it. Right, you're looking for smooth talkers that are quick on their feet, hustlers, right? And I'm like, that that was here there the whole time. Why didn't I start out that way? So what I did, I started to look for entrepreneurs and salespeople and struggling wholesalers that just wanted to squat up. People that wanted to squat up and they just wanted to be part of a, a solid team and a good system and started to recruit them. And that's when things kicked off. That's when they started to bring me quality leads and we're pounding down deals. And I wasn't having to do all the work and I could finally enjoy my time in Europe was when I started to target salespeople, entrepreneurs, hustlers, and struggling, struggling wholesalers to be my bird dogs, to use their own Facebook accounts to post for me. Yeah, I know you've talked about it before. Uh, that if you're trying to recruit a commission-based sales team, you want to market in a newbie wholesaler group or investor group, right? The new ones, the ones that have never done it because they're really struggling for the deals. So you can you can really help them out and you you structure it with that commission-based system. So if you're if you're looking for those virtual bird dogs or the people that can really do that legwork, right? Do the legwork virtually. Those are the groups to go in. And I don't think a lot of people think about this. Although I don't do this world, so I don't know what it's like on the investor end, and maybe a lot are doing it. But I think with this whole new world with with virtual and being able to be in Texas, I mean, there's investors that are watching and that'll watch the replay that are in the Texas market. And they'll do deals out of, out of Texas or in a different market. I mean, th they have no problem doing it. But they're part of groups, right? The hive mind group, right? We got members of the hive mind watching it. It's it's a collective group of investors that love doing deals virtually. So um, a lot about what you're talking about with with organic traffic and trying to get leads is is big in the investor world, and it's it's incredible stuff. So let let me ask you this: um, this these are some of the questions that I had too. Um, how do you, how do you structure? a commission-based acquisitions team, and what is the pay breakdown? Yes. So in your sales department, you have the department head who is the acquisition manager. Now, the acquisition manager, their job is just to take phone calls. They go to, they go to the phone appointments. They're talking to the seller. They're negotiating. They're following up. They're, um, they're doing everything up to the point where the seller signs 
on the line. That way, by the time it gets to you, the only thing you have to do is sign off on it. But this is going to be a talented individual that you put in this position. And in order to keep A players and rock stars, you got to keep them hungry and you got to keep them fit. So you got to spoon feed them leads. And the way that you do that is you build a team of appointment setters underneath them. So they have their own team. And they help lead that team because they know if they lead the team and they motivate the team and they help the team do better, the better the team does, the more appointments they're going on, the more deals that they're making. Okay. So the, uh, the acquisition manager makes 10% of any deal that they close. So 10% of the assignment. So if it's a $50,000 assignment fee, he's going to pocket five grand. Now, if it's if if it's something that ends up being flipped or it's a hold, then it'll be a flat one thousand, flat one thousand dollar commission. Now, the setters also make ten percent. Now, this is interesting because a setter, you know, they're putting in ten or fifteen hours a week, just messing around on Facebook, kind of like they would for an MLM, right? They're they're this is a side hustle for them. They probably already have a job but they're messing around on Facebook all day anyways. Why not try to make money with with this method? And they're able just to do a few posts, talk to sellers and messenger and get those booked in with the acquisition manager. And they can make really good money doing that. And that's why it's important to find people that are hungry for real estate because you have to have thick skin sometimes, right? And it's not always about the paycheck. It's Sometimes it's about the experience and the, 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 uh, the learning of it to get your foot in the door to, to really learn the game. And that's what these people are around for because, you know, it can take a while. You might find a deal, get it locked under contract, takes 30 days or more to close and they're waiting that whole time for their paycheck. So it can't just be about the money. They have to be passionate about real estate too. So that's another key. But um, at the appointment center will make 10% just for scrolling around and posting around on Facebook. Not bad for a part-time gig. Now, some people will say, okay, so the appointment center makes 10%. The closer makes 10%. They're making the same. Why? That, that doesn't make sense. Why would somebody high valuable uh, or a high value position like a closer, like an acquisition manager, why are they making the same as the setters? Well, this is why. Because they're going to make 10% from every single deal from their entire team. So they're going to make more money than the appointment setters because they're making 10% off of every deal from their team. Whereas appointment setters only making 10% off of their own efforts. So the acquisition manager can start to leverage OPW as well or other people's work. Now, here's where it gets good. The acquisition manager can set appointments too. So they can lead by example and lead the charge and can and post for themselves when they have time and set their own appointments. And if they set their own appointments, they get the appointment setter commission and the closer commission. So they'll get 20%, 10% for setting, 10% for closing for a full 20% on personal deals. That incentivizes them to lead the charge and continue to post on their own. Are there any rooms for advancement or is that kind of like capped for that, those commission-based systems? That's capped for, for the acquisition manager. The, the position of acquisition, acquisition manager is uh, something that they work for. That's a golden carrot. They don't just end up in that position. We actually promote from within. So we'll promote from our pool of appointment setters, which is also why we look for U.S.-based appointment setters so that they can eventually be promoted to an acquisition manager. But that's not the only opportunity for advancement. Somebody can also become a lead appointment setter. And a lead appointment setter helps they're like, a, they're like the assistant manager. So they're going to help with accountability. They're going to help answer questions. They're going to help train with training. And they'll make 10% of, the, of another setter's paycheck. So if another setter gets five grand, the lead setter gets 500 as an override, as a kickback, just for helping keep people accountable and lead the team. So they're able to tap into other people's work and continue to be a setter because some, some people enjoy it. They don't want to be on the phones. They like posting on Facebook. That's what they enjoy. So they need opportunity for advancement as well. 
Gotcha. And and like you were saying before, you have to find these right team members, the good team members. And it's it's hard to find. You got to treat them like a family. Um, you've talked about this, making them feel like they're part of something bigger, that you're all together, you're all part of this. I know you're a huge believer in that and treating everybody like a team and and giving them a sense of ownership that that they're part of this, right? That it's not this hierarchy, but that you're in it together. And that's that's something that's really important if you're going to do the system, right? You, If you're going to have these people that are surrounding you in your business, like any business, right? This is not just for building uh, uh, leads off Facebook. This is really any business. You have to have people and employees that are part of something bigger in a team. So um, what are your thoughts on that? Like, How, how do you tr- attract those amazing members? Yeah, so you that's exactly right. You got to lead with vision and core values everything comes down to core values and vision giving them a sense of ownership you know making them feel like they're a partner in this game because they are you know they're a big part i understand that my team is my company they're the bones and the lifeblood of my company and i treat them as such you know i i treat them like family i don't just get to know um, them on a surface level i get to know them on a deep deep level like family I want to know about their goals. I want to know about their hobbies. I want to know about their family life, where they're going and what is their vision? Because I want to get their vision aligned with my vision and show them that my company is the vehicle that they need and the only vehicle that they need that's going to help them get to their goal and get to their vision. And this, this was something that, you know, I've had to, I had to learn when I was working with direct TV. Because that's not something that people enjoy. You know, people don't want to go door to door selling satellite TV. So I had to sell the vision of being an entrepreneur, of being your own boss, of making an uncapped income. And I got really good at that back then when I was doing that. But when I was able to take those philosophies and apply them to real estate, that's a game changer because real estate is sexy. You know, people want to get into it. People love real estate and it's a desirable position so it's easy to sell that vision it's easy to sell that that dream um in in that realm and in that space so talk about selling that vision selling that dream what's the kyle rogers course for this because like i see you right now i feel like there's the kyle rogers course i know you do like the zoom the weekly zoom meetings to talk about all of this stuff like what is that like like uh, do you have Number one, do you have a course? And two, where can uh, people go to learn all this stuff? I know you have that uh, loom.com or the Zoom meetings and all the stuff that you do. And also, you host your own Facebook group. Um, and I don't want to make sh- I want to make sure I cover it, but like what that's like starting up a group. You know, like what what's that like even getting into that? But where can people learn all of these things that you do and you implement? Because there's people watching that have never done it before or they want to do this. They want to start going more into the virtual world and getting all these virtual bird dogs. Where do they learn? Yeah, so I have different levels. I've got free. You know, I'm all about impact and I'm all about bringing value. So I've got a free level and that's inside my Facebook groups. I'm bringing on experts on a weekly basis. You were on my show a couple months back and you came and dropped some bombs and we're constantly having some big players. We had Elijah Rubin on there. We had Carlos Reyes and uh, we've got some more people coming. So if you want free value and you want free training, I mean, my Facebook group is almost like a mastermind in itself. You're going to learn so much and get a full education just within my free group. And the name of my group is quite long but it tells you right in the name what we're about. And it's called Group Marketing Real Estate Investing Leads. And I'll say that again, Group Marketing Real Estate Investing Leads. And you might say, well, why is, your, why is the name so long? It's uh, keywords. <laughs> you know, you want to hit those keywords in Facebook groups to make sure that people, when they search for groups, it's in your title and you're going to come up in that search. But also it tells people what we do. Before I used to have, it was called Bot Talk. Nobody had any clue what that group was about. Change the name, people know what we're about. That's where you go to learn some some pretty high level stuff for free. Uh, so you can also find that group on my website. An easier place to find it is just go to botfox.net, B-O-T-F-O-X 
www.thepowerofpositivity.net. And on my website, it it's, uh, takes you to a webinar. I don't have a traditional website. It's a, it's a instant webinar that you can get instant access to and learn three face, uh, three secrets of Facebook group marketing. And then on there is also an access link to the free group. Okay. So that's my free, that's my free level. I used to have a course, um, that taught this, but we actually shut that down because I wasn't lit up by the course. I wasn't excited about the course because how many people are guilty of buying a course and never even breaking it open? Me, I am. I have a bunch of courses I paid for that I haven't even busted open. So I noticed that people were buying this and, and, uh, you know, you, if you, you got this perceived value, if you pay, you pay attention. And if you're paying a low price, then you're not going to put in the work and, and a course is just so surface level that you can't really get a lot out of it. So I shut that down. The access to my course is no longer available to the public in order to get access to the course. You have to be part of my inner circle. Now, my inner circle group, I have a couple of different levels for that. I've got a uh, done with you program. It's a three month done with you program where I help you build a team around Facebook groups. And you're a little bit choppy from, uh, do I need to reset real no, quick, Al, or how's my... No, you're doing fantastic. I'm, I'm taking notes over here. This, this is great value. <laughs> Okay. okay. You may not have the course, Kyle, but you have these resources that people can reach out to that are what? The four letter word free. So, I mean, you, you have these resources that they can go to instant webinars. They can find this stuff. So no, let it roll. You, you have an audience right now that is watching and I know they're taking notes. I know Frank's watching Frank Spaulding's. I know he's taking notes on his pad. So keep going. Good stuff. So in my three month program, it's an inner circle community. Think of it like a mini mastermind where we're learning from each other, from our collective knowledge. And we have weekly Zoom calls and hands on coaching. So it's not a course anymore. You get the course in the program, but it's not just that. I'm actually taking you by the hand and building your company right alongside you. It's a done with you program. So you get to see what I'm doing in my marketing and get to see how I build my team, but I'm also helping you build your team. So I'm recruiting your team by doing the group interviews. We get on, me and my team get on there every single week and we're recruiting people. We're getting them pumped up about the position, excited to learn while they earn. We tell them that they have to use their own Facebook account to market. We tell them that it's commission based, but we get them excited about that fact. And we go over the non-compete and we harp on that because we don't want people that are freeloading or just trying to take the information and run. And then at the end, we answer all of their questions and give them a complete understanding of what this is. That way, by the time we send them back to you, they're ready to go. They're ready to rock and roll and plug themselves in. So we're doing the recruiting and selling the job for you. And not only that, we're also training your team. They have their own version of the course that they can go through and learn the principles of Facebook group marketing to find seller leads. But we don't just leave it at that. We're also training them live every single week. It's done for you live training. Where we're getting on, getting on, training your team, answering their questions, keeping them accountable, doing screen shares with them, looking at their messenger conversations, giving wow. them tweaks and helping them improve. So we're recruiting your team and training your team. And not only that, we're training you. We're training you on how to be the type of leader that can attract A players. We show you what it takes to find rock stars and not only to find rock stars, just be, but to be able to retain them and keep them from being stolen away. How to uh, really build that loyalty and get people to be aligned with your vision. We teach you how to build out standard operating procedures and systems. We teach you how to build out your administrative team using VAs. We teach you how to put every aspect of your business on autopilot just in the, this uh, three month period. And I'm right there by your side, holding you by the hand and even helping you build it. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is great. If, if you even have this program and these resources for people to use, this helps a lot of people that want to do virtual wholesaling, virtual deals, virtual investing, whether it's buy and hold, it helps them figure out how they can do it. Not that just in their local market, but abroad in other states, uh, whether you're in Florida and you want to invest in Texas or you're in California and you want to invest in Florida. So you have these resources to do it. And it seems just... Again, you seem ahead of the game, Kyle. 
because you were doing this already before COVID hit and you're still doing it now more than ever. And you're able to also live that lifestyle that you want, go on the traveling that you want to do and go wherever you want and still make money, still have deals and also build a team around you, which is really, that's a, it's impressive to do. And I know uh, you're doing it and talk to us about running a Facebook group. Um, that's, that's something that's really hard to do. I've heard, uh, that you got to keep it up. You got to keep the comments going, you got to keep the message. What are some tips and tricks about running a Facebook group that like, like the one that you're doing, like, how do you keep it up and how do you, how do you maintain it and do all the maintenance that it comes every day? Yeah. So uh, it's all about leveraging other people's work, just like on the real estate side, you know, on on this side of things, on the coaching and mentorship side, I have a team. I have appointment setters that use Facebook groups and they use their own Facebook accounts to post in groups on my behalf. And then I've got closers who talk to people on the phone and go to those appointments and take those sales calls. So it's identical. What I just told you about uh, finding appointment setters and acquisition managers on the investing side. It's identical on the other side. We've got setters and closers. The setters use Facebook accounts, their accounts to post in groups to generate leads, and then they push them to my group. And then we book them in with the closer when people are curious about you know, what we offer and what we do. And um, that's it. I mean, that feeds 90% that feeds of my traffic. Uh, recently, I've been doing a lot more interviews. That also helps build traffic and bring people in. And uh, just constantly giving value and, and creating a place where people can come and learn for free. Like it, you have to be about impact. And, you know, if, if you want to, if you want people to be attracted to you and drawn to you, you have to really care about them. You have to care about their outcome and help them make money without charging them a penny. Help people make money without charging them any money. And they'll, they'll say to themselves, if his free stuff is this good, I can only imagine how good his paid stuff is, right? right? So it's just coming from a place of value and impact. And, you know, you get to a certain point to where your companies are doing good. You've got teams cranking on both sides and, you know, you're able to travel with your family and you feel fulfilled. But then what's next? You know, I've got financial freedom. I've got time freedom and I've got location independence, I hit all my goals. So why am I still pushing so hard? Why am I still out there and so driven? It's because of impact. Impact becomes more important than how much you make in the end. Amazing. Keep doing what you're doing, Kyle. These 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 Facebook groups and uh, doing the virtual deals, I mean, that's really helpful for people, especially in the kind of world we're living in right now. I, I can tell you, I, I'm sure a lot more people are doing more sight unseen and deals abroad than ever. And they want to travel, right? Back to that again. They want to live their life, get away from it. Um, that that was something that a lot of people had talked about on my show previously. Henry Angeli, he was an employee and then he became entrepreneur. And b when he did that, he went full-time real estate and he's living the life he wants to. He's getting the deals he wants to. So it's inspiring to see people like Henry and you, Kyle, that made that jump from that corporate world to now what you're doing and you're making it happen. It's incredible. Yeah, I appreciate that. Hey, I, I also had a another question for you. I've done my research, Kyle. So you've also talked about before uh, how to avoid getting kicked out of Facebook groups. Um, this is interesting because, again, I've seen Facebook groups that have like 10,000 people in it. And you look you look at it both ways. One, that's probably a really active group, but also is it a, a spam-filled group? Um, but how do you avoid getting kicked out? You've talked about building relationships with group administrators and doing following the group rules and uh, don't join pages that are specific and um, scanning scanning through the pages. How do you avoid getting kicked out? Yeah, so um, you know you really have to respect people's houses because a Facebook group that's their house. You know, so so you have to respect people in their home and you have to review their house rules and make sure that you're not crossing those lines. But if you're using attract attraction marketing, uh, let's say on the coaching side, you know, where where um, 
posting, doing posts that are conversational, that, that, uh, that get people thinking there. It's a curious question. It starts conversation. Then you can slide in their DMS and go into a private conversation from there and kind of siphon off in an ethical way by going that, that route, by building conversations, being a conversation starter and just building relationships and building your network. Now, when looking for sellers, it's a little bit different because in a lot of these local groups, you're looking for groups that you're allowed to do this kind of post, that you're allowed to house hunt. You know, we're not acting like somebody who's spamming. We're not posting glossy ads. We're acting like just some Joe looking for a house. I'm just house hunting. You know what I mean? And, and if you're careful about the groups that you're posting in these local groups, then you can do that. You, you know, you're, you're allowed to do that. But there's certain groups that are more strict that you can't. For example, like uh, historical photos of Portland, you know, you wouldn't want to go in there doing house hunting posts. You probably wouldn't want to get away with it. Uh, Electronics for sale or cars for sale. Watches. Don't (laughs) post. Yeah. (laughs) Watches. Don't post those groups. You you probably get kicked out, you know, so, so just kind of be, be wary. And then also see what other people are posting, you know, go through the feed, see what other people are getting away with, see what other people are posting. Now, it's not just the administrators you have to worry about, though. It's also Facebook algorithm. Facebook's AI is so sophisticated. It's like military level, right? It's, it's almost like they have their own police that are out there looking for people that are violating the rules. And if, you, if you're pushing Facebook past the limits of what they allow, you end up in the slammer. <laughs> you end up in Facebook jail. Now, what Facebook jail is, is that you cannot post in other people's groups for up to uh, 14 days, sometimes longer, sometimes it's up to 30 days. And if you can't post in other people's groups for a whole month, that kills all your momentum. It's not a place you want to be. So you have to obey Facebook's rules. And those rules are uh, the magic number 13 is what we've discovered that keeps you out of jail. That's the speed limit. If you want to redline your account and max it out, 13 actions a day. An action is either joining a group or posting in a group. And if you do both in the same day, you join six and post in seven, but don't exceed that number. If you, if you can, if you want to push the boundaries, I mean, you might get away with it, but you might not. But if you want to play it safe, 13 is the number. 13 actions a day, that's redlining it. And that's going to keep you out of trouble. The other thing is don't power post. Don't open up a bunch of tabs and and do all 13 posts within like two minutes. You'll look like a bot and Facebook will shut you down. So you want to spread them out a little bit, do a couple here, wait, wait like 10, 15 minutes, do some more, you know, so don't power post and only do 13 actions a day. Wow. You taught me something tonight about the 13. I did. I did not know that. Um, I mean, yeah, because Facebook does have quite an algorithm They'll know when you're posting the same thing in multiple groups and they'll actually like bump you down. They'll like put you down to the bottom. Um, I've heard different things like if you post a JPEG, they'll push you like straight down on the bottom of the group. But then if you do like an organic text post uh, from something like some graphic that Facebook gives you, they'll put you to the top. It's like there's so many different things. Like what are some other ways you can beat the Facebook algorithm um, to be that top post and and bring in that organic traffic so that people notice you. Yeah, so don't post links. Links are a big no-no. I mean, that's that's something you'll get in trouble for. So do not post links. Don't go past that number 13. Don't post GIFs. Um, don't post JPEGs, like you said. Just really conversational starter stuff. And you're looking for you're looking for uh, a post that's going to encourage people to comment. Because that's the lifeblood of these posts, comments. Every time somebody comments, it bumps up your post to the top of the group and it tells the algorithm to push it out to more people. So comments are key. You want people engaging and commenting on your post. So that's a must is ask a question because if you ask a question, it compels people to answer in the comments. You know, so comment, don't say, uh, don't say DM me. Don't say something like this. Hey, is anybody selling a fixer upper property? DM me. Don't say that because then they, they, they might DM you or they might not. But either way, you're not going to get comments on that post and it's going to drop like a rock. You want people to comment on the post. So invite them to comment onto the post. 
We have an audience watching, Kyle. If any of you have questions for Kyle Rogers, he's doing all this stuff virtually through Facebook and getting leads organically on autopilot, getting these deals, getting leads, working with different team members in the acquisition side and getting these deals. If you have any questions, he's live right now. Ask away. I, I'm, I'm watching the feed coming in. So if you have any questions, ask away. So, Kyle, also talking about those posts for a second, I've also noticed that when you have these groups like Yellowbird or Cash Geeks has their group, if somebody posts like, um, hey, uh, I'm a landscaper. If you need something, uh, call me at 90. And, and all of a sudden, there's either there's no comments, there's no reactions. And also, that comment gets off. So that's not really providing value to the groups. What is your best uh, advice to somebody that's trying to do the organic posting, organic uh, growth from the groups, like what is that? What is that post? Like, what do you recommend? So, um, are you talking about like what's the ideal post to get those comments? What does it look like? So, yes. I'll, I'll give you guys a basic idea. Um, you know, we do reserve some stuff to our paid members, but I can give you guys a, a hint. So, um, really, it's just like a digital bandit sign. If you're looking for sellers. Think of it like a digital bandit sign. I'm looking for a fixer upper willing to pay cash. Who's selling? Right. So right. that's it. You're just asking a question, and then you put a you put a bright background on it, make it make it look like a bandit sign. It's going to be very visible and get a lot of reach. Great. That's great advice. Hey, we had somebody drop in. Kobe. Kobe had a great question. Do you do anything with? I guess, Facebook Messenger. Do you do anything with Messenger for marketing? So um, Messenger is where we move everybody. So the the when they comment, our primary goal is to slide into their DMs and be speaking to them in Messenger. You got to get them off of that post. You got to get them out of that group and talk to them in Messenger. And that's where the magic happens because then it's like, you know, a lot of people have Messenger on their cell phone and it dings on your phone, it interrupts whatever app. You could be sitting there uh, looking for properties and all of a sudden you get a Messenger uh, and, and you see it ding and then you can then it pops up the conversation right on top of the app that you're using. And it's like interruption marketing. So if you can get into their DMs, if you can talk to people in direct Messenger, then that's where you're going to be able to get a lot better conversion and stay in front of them. They're not going to lose you. Now, another thing that you can do is use a messenger CRM, a messenger CRM such as messengerorganizer.com. You want to write that down, guys, messengerorganizer.com. They have a two-week trial. I think it's like $10 a month. And that allows you to put your messenger conversations into categories. And it allows you to view all of your own unread messages at once, which is a feature that Facebook took away from us. Facebook Messenger gives it back. So very powerful tool right there. Yeah, and Kobe had a follow-up comment. He asked, and are you using bots for Messenger? Um, like, like uh, what was the name of it? Um, Manny Chat. Manny Chat has changed uh, recently, like in the recent years. And it's so strict in the way that it, it operates. So, so bots are no longer e effective. Um, Facebook really cracked down on bots, uh, within the last couple of years, they're not effective anymore. And that's why we build teams around it. We put humans behind the process and they're so much more effective than bots. Anyways, you're talking to an actual person, you know, we actually used to have a bot. That's what, that's where we started is bot Fox. We were, we were, uh, we, we were, um, the software when I first started and, uh, it was an auto poster. It would automatically post in Facebook groups. And it was kind of cool. Yeah, it was, it's kind of a neat tool, but it, it wasn't extremely effective. What's more effective is an actual person behind it. So all of the results that you see, if you go into my group, you'll see every single week, there's people getting results and posting testimonials. We just had got somebody last week within three days of joining our program. They got a couple deals. Wow. A couple deals within three days of joining our program. We have people that have made multiple six figures within uh, 30 days using our system, you know, all these crazy results, Victor, he was somebody else that, uh, within four months, I mean, I think he did, I think he did three flips within four months of using groups. 
And, um, you know, this is all, this is all incredible results, but we didn't have those kind of results and we didn't have those testimonials when we had the software. We didn't have those kind of results when we used the bots is when we switched over to humans appointment setters, that results went through the roof and Facebook killed it. Facebook no longer allows bots. Um, that, that can get your account not only blocked, it can get your account shut down. So definitely discourage you from using anything like that. And, um, you know, the reason we're bot Fox still is just cause it's stuck. I asked the community, what should we change our name to? And they're like, we like bot Fox. So it just stuck. I like it. it it's simple. Yeah. You can remember it. We'll make sure we post it up there again. And we had another question. Elizabeth has a great question. How do you utilize Facebook for the disposition part? What has worked for you? Great question, Elizabeth. Yeah, so you want to hit up local investor groups, local investor groups. So you would you would type in, let's say, Dallas, Fort Worth or DFW real estate investor, or DFW REI or um, or DFW wholesaling or DFW cash buyers. So you use all these different keywords to find investor groups. And it doesn't even have to be a local real estate investor group. Go post in the biggest groups that there are out there, like Bigger Pockets, for example. They have a great group. And post in there and say, hey, I have a deal in Dallas, Fort Worth. Where are my buyers at? And you're going to get people responding in those massive, massive groups that are uh, you, you know, targeted to your location. Incredible. Yeah, that's a big group. Bigger Pockets is a big group. If you can, if you can yeah. get attention in that kind of group, you're doing something really well. Uh, so yep. anybody that has any questions, you know, we're here, we'll answer them. We'll, we'll put them up on the screen. Kyle, where can people find you? Um, go through the whole list, the Facebook group, uh, where they can find you on Facebook, your website, where they can find all these tools and these resources so they can tap into it. Yes, absolutely. So you can find my Facebook group on my website. And I don't have a traditional website, guys. My website is an instant webinar. So you, if you go to www.botfox.net, and that's .net, not .com, botfox.net, that's going to take you to an instant webinar that you don't have to wait for. It's not one of those fake webinars that you have to sit there and wait 20 minutes to get on. No, you get direct access to it. And you're going to learn three secrets of Facebook group marketing. And that's a free resource. But then on that website as well is a link to get into my free Facebook group. So the website's the easiest place to find all that stuff. The group is called Group Marketing Real Estate Investing Leads. There you go. Group Marketing Real Estate Investing Leads. All strat strategy right there for the group. Uh, and Kyle, he grows a great group in there. So follow it. Uh, he does a lot of this great stuff and he knows all about the Facebook leads and how to get deals from Facebook on autopilot organically with no ad spend. So he has a way you get the team members. He has a system and he can, he can show you how it's all commission based on the acquisition side. Uh, and, uh, it's amazing stuff there. So Kyle, amazing. Thanks. Thanks so much for sharing all of these things on the show. And, um, uh, We'll make sure we put everything out there for you. Everybody will know where to find it. We'll make sure this is everywhere. We've already, so so you know, with the show, we're sharing it like in every group, every every type of group uh, we can, but we're not doing it uh, past 13. I think it's like um, eight or nine groups and we're just sharing it and putting it out there and um, putting it on the Facebook Messenger. So there, there's a strategy to that as well with, with the marketing because – if people know that there's the show live, they're they're tuned in and they're watching it. Um, so, and we had great comments, Sharonda. Thank you so much for watching, Sharonda. Uh, Elizabeth, you know, she got great value out of this as well. And Edwin, thank you so much for watching. I we love having an audience that's watching live. Kyle, um, there's something about it. People feel like again, just like what you're doing, having people feel like they're a part of this and being able to get their questions so they can grow. Um, Kobe asked, do you have a YouTube channel? I do not, but we're working on that. That's going to be in the near future. We're, we're building out a YouTube channel. I'm not a video editor. I don't have a lot of time for that or even a desire to learn video editing. So 
we will be hiring a video editor soon and building up a YouTube presence. And I've got so much content of traveling the world. It would be so cool to put that together. I'm excited for when that launches. Yeah, not only deals, you should talk about your travels. Yeah. Like, like the travels of an investor. So we're all like mesmerized about what you can do with your independent free life doing real estate deals. Like, look what I'm doing. And you're like looking at the Tower of Pisa or something, right? I mean, it's incredible. <laughs> You can travel and do everything. Yeah, I spent all day working at like, this is no BS. I spent all day working in the Eiffel Tower. There's one day where, where we were just hanging out all day long and we, we didn't leave. We were just having so much fun and I had to get work done that day. And I, I was telling my wife uh, when we left in the morning, I'm like, I got to get back. I have some work to get done. I, so we can't be there that long. Uh, but once we got there, I'm like, I don't want to leave. This is incredible. So I just got work done there in the Eiffel Tower. Amazing. Amazing that you can do this anywhere in the world. And now with the virtual world and being on social media, you can do this stuff anywhere you want to. Build the team, do it right, do it organically, do it the right way. Don't don't try to go and uh, beat out Facebook's algorithm and then they'll kick you out. You wanna make sure you follow the rules and do what they want and uh, you can grow. So Kyle, thank you so much for being on. Love being on your show. Love being, love being interviewed when you were on the road when back in April and May and loved having you on today. So thank you for taking the time to do it and uh, sharing your experience and what you know, your wealth and knowledge with Facebook groups and doing deals on autopilot. Man, that was a lot of fun. Thanks so much, Al, for having me on here. And thanks so much for, for being here, guys. And thanks for playing full out and interacting. Oh, yeah. There's there's a crowd. So thanks again, Kyle. We're going to wrap it up. Awesome. All right, guys. See ya. See you soon. All right, everybody. Did you like that episode? I mean, that was fantastic. Hearing all about the benefits to growing your business organically, using social media, and getting deals from Facebook, using these strategies and tips on autopilot, getting deals, and finding out which groups you go into for specific niches. It's amazing. Follow Kyle. He is on at Kyle Rogers on Facebook. He's got his botfox.com, tons of content everywhere. And make sure you check out all the amazing guests that have been on the Al Nicoletti show, past guests on, on YouTube, the Al Nicoletti show on the YouTube channel, at Attorney Nicoletti, all the micro content that comes out on Instagram. And make sure you subscribe to the iTunes and Spotify for the Al Nicoletti Show where there's things, that there's episodes dropping weekly. There's tons of stuff and all the amazing content on probates, partitions, quiet titles, all the other things that come out weekly. So make sure you check it out and I will see you next time on the Al Nicoletti Show. Take care.